YouTube. All right, so today we have another review for you and it is going to be on the Melissa and Doug Puppet Theater. Every Saturday we have decided we are going to let Wyatt feature one of his favorite toys and he's gonna talk about it a little bit and then I'm gonna give my side of why I like it or dislike it so you can kinda of get the best of both worlds from a kid's point of view and an adult's point of view. So like I said, here is the Melissa and Doug Puppet Theater and you wanna talk about it a little bit, buddy? Yeah. It doesn't, but there is a clock, and I'm sure there's a pretty easy fix to it. Um, we just haven't found that solution yet, but it does work. The clock does does stay in place if you set it just right, um, but the hands do like to fall. And what else, buddy? Um, there's a vacuum for decoration. You did put stickers back there for decoration. What else? What else do you like about this? Me. Wow. Yes, they that's do. That's the closed one, and that's open. Yeah. And then what's down at the bottom? Um, chalk toys, and right down is chalk. You want to show us some of your puppets? Um, yeah. Ooh, what else you got back there? Squeaky mooper. Who else is back there? Got any others? Mm-hmm. Got one, two more. Got lamb chop and a rhino. Do you like playing with this? And mm -hmm. a penguin. Yes, and a I finger have. puppet. You got quite a few puppets back there, bud. Even this puppet. Yeah. Do you like play do you like playing with this? Uh-huh. And this is this come from Christmas too. I think that came from Easter. Easter? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, so this is about four and a half feet tall by about three feet wide, and he really does enjoy playing with this. He comes back here all the time, um, not only to use it as a puppet theater, but he likes to use it as a little fort back there. Um, but it's a nice, quiet toy. It's well made, and it's something that my husband and I can interact with him and play along with him when he uses this. Uh, we can also incorporate it into some homeschooling activities and stuff, which is why I really like it most of all. Um, I'm not exactly sure on the price, but I will find the cheapest store and I will link it down below. But anyways, um, yeah, like he said, there is curtain closures right here and they're a nice heavy velour fabric and they both have these Velcro tie-offs right here. And there's the clock right here, and the hands do stay, but they don't stay for very long. Um, if You just got to kind of get them in the right position, and they will stay in place. Um, but they are kind of loosely attached on there because of the style that they have of, like, pin that pops in there to hold them, hold them in. Um, and then the chalkboard down here, it's very important that you follow directions on seasoning this right because even when we did season it correctly, um, the chalk still doesn't like to write nicely on here. Um, but I mean, it, the product was fairly inexpensive, so it's not a big deal. Uh, this did take two people to assemble. That was kind of a pain, but it didn't take very long. It only took us maybe maybe 15, 20 minutes to get it all put together um, because it did come in individual pieces aside from, I believe it was the black panels right here on the side um, that did not need any assembly, but we had to put everything else like the chalkboard and the clock and everything else had to be assembled. These pins up here do not stay tight. Um, so this does come loose and I'm always afraid that if we don't catch it in time that this will fall on top of him. Um, if these do come out, it doesn't matter how tight we screw them in, they don't like to stay. Um, I don't know if that's just our particular one that we have or if all of them do that, but that is kind of a safety concern because I don't want that to fall on top of him. Um, but it was, like I said, it was fairly inexpensive, really easy to put together, really quiet, nice toy to have in the house um, for him to kind of get creative and play around with. It's the perfect toy for the kid that has everything or you don't want to get any more plastic toys that are just going to break and fall apart like a few weeks after their birthday or Christmas or whatever. So anyways, this is the Melissa and Dog Puppet Theater. It's an excellent buy. Um, 
We use it all the time and I highly recommend it. So be sure to subscribe for more toy reviews and baby products and stuff. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.